Hello everybody and welcome to Ask Kevin Our Productions episode number 71. This is the Q&A series I do where I answer all your questions about Lego or myself or whatever you guys ask. I also tell some jokes and at the end I do show some memes from my subreddit which I forgot to do last week so I'm sorry about that. I literally just forgot. There's no other explanation for it but it'll be at the end of this episode so make sure you stay tuned. I will be at Brick Fair in North Carolina this upcoming weekend. I'll be there all four days. There are two public days Saturday and Sunday so if you're going to be there make sure you drop by and say hi. I should be at the Empire Lug booth most of the time. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop right into our very first question from Roman Kane. He says, what happened to Minifigure Monday? So for those of you who haven't been on my channel for a long time or never heard of my other channel called Minifigure Reviewer, which I did maybe for a few months, um, basically Minifig Monday was a little short like three minute spotlight thing where I would take a look at a minifigure every Monday. It's pretty self-explanatory and basically it just was a series that I didn't feel had a lot of ground to it. Like I didn't feel like I was doing a great job with it. No, it just wasn't something that fit in with my channel and obviously I've moved on from that and I don't see myself bringing it back unless I can find a way to do it better. Maybe I do bring it back. I do like short 60 second. So tell me this, what if I did a 60 second video every Monday and I would upload it at like 7 p.m. in addition to the review for Mondays that I would upload at 3 p.m. So two videos on a Monday. One of them would just happen to be called Minifigure Monday and be 60 seconds long. Maybe that would be something worthwhile and fun to do that you guys could enjoy. It's like a short little bit where I do like a very short info segment on one minifigure for a particular week. It wouldn't be anything too crazy in depth, but I think that would be fun if it was just like 60 seconds. I think that would be the, the most fun way to do this. Maybe I'll bring it back. Just talking about it kind of gave me some ideas to maybe bring that series back and have fun with it. Our next question is from Hank. He says, I know that we'll never get this, but I really want a heavy TIE fighter from the Maelstrom Nebula Chase in Solo. Yeah, that ship, when I first saw it in the trailer for Solo Star Wars Story, I assumed we were going to get that as a set. Didn't get it yet, but it's one of those things, like I talked about last week, when LEGO does eventually revisit Solo a Star Wars Story for LEGO Star Wars sets, I think it's totally possible we'll see that come out. I think they did want to play it safe with the first wave of Solo sets, or the first go-around with, you know, some traditional vehicles. So hopefully in the future we'll get that heavy TIE fighter because that thing did look really cool and really menacing. Hopefully $90 or less. Star Wars Man 1234 says between MNR Productions, MNR Vlogs, and MNR Builds, which is your favorite and least favorite? I mean, this channel has to be my favorite, like without a doubt, but I love all of my channels equally. Sterling Silver says, why doesn't the UCS Sandcrawler have a plaque? I've tried to find a reason online and have not found it. Yeah, um, I couldn't tell you either. I know a lot about Lego Star Wars, probably as much as almost anybody else in the world but like there was never like an explanation given as to why the UCS Sandcrawler didn't come with a display plaque um the interesting thing is things like the Porg see the Porg there and then the UCS not UCS BB-8 came with a plaque so it's a little bit uh confusing I do want to do a video on something like that like what is UCS type of thing like what defines it because it has become blurred over the years as Lego has tried to define it but they've kind of left some gray areas so that's one of those great it's definitely a UCS set right it had the this thing on it but like it didn't have a plaque which also doesn't make sense to me so I don't know what they're doing noise or nice bricks says if you could have only one minifigure which would you have it would have to be the Clone Wars clone trooper right that's like the one minifigure that I could have a thousand of and not have enough of like that thing back in the day was the most fun to collect so I would go with that one Corbin Kidwell says challenge idea walk in Lego shoes for a day the only problem is I can't build, so I don't know how the heck I would build Lego shoes, let alone Lego shoes that would not break when I walk in them. It's a solid idea, but it would probably hurt a lot. Basically, if you bring me a shoe design, that's something I might do. I just, I couldn't build it myself. Infinite Bricks asks, what is your favorite Lego movie? Batman, Ninjago, Lego Movie 2, or the original Lego movie? I'm pretty set on that I think that the Lego Movie 2 is my favorite. I'm pretty sure that it's my favorite at this point. I saw it a couple times in theaters. I really genuinely enjoyed it. I like the music from it. Um, other than the scene where they have the mom, the, mu the movie's pretty good for me. So I'm going to go with that as my favorite one. Loki says, would you like a remake of the TIE Defender? Well, yes, but actually no. Um, so a couple reasons why yes, couple reasons why no. I would love to see it remade, obviously. Like, it's a really cool vehicle. I also just kind of broke it, so hopefully they uh, can fix the, the shattering issues with that one. And it was a bit overpriced back in the day. It was like 304 pieces for 50 bucks. Nowadays, call it 550 pieces for 90. 
that's expensive. That's where I see that set going, and that worries me. The other thing is, I don't want them to remake a TIE Defender before they remake a TIE Interceptor, or TIE Bomber, or even make the, uh, the, tie, the heavy TIE Fighter that we just talked about from Solo. So, I think the TIE Defender... 10 more years maybe we'll see another one if we're lucky or if it like shows up in star wars resistance or something i don't that would be weird but like it would have to show up somewhere again for them to to remake it i think lego studios 14 says do you have a job this is my job it's a pretty sweet job although some people will tell me it's not a real job and that i should get a real job uh that's that's the that's what some people on the internet will tell you i don't i don't get that sentiment crazy gamer xpl crazy gamer xpl why is your name written there twice says which lego set is the worst of all time um, that is a very tough question. You're never going to find a sure answer on that, right? Uh, some of the worst, or the one that I right now would probably say is the worst, just because it came along with a movie that was had a lot of controversy. It's probably one of the most controversial LEGO Star Wars sets ever, um, and maybe I'm not thinking outside the box enough. If you guys can think of a worst LEGO set of all time that's not from Star Wars, let me know in the comment section below. But the First Order ATST is a hot mess. That thing couldn't have come at a worse time. Let's just put it that way. Uh, it came right on the heels of another ATSC that was much more fairly priced for what you got. It's basically half an ATSC. It's it's one of the most pathetic Lego sets I've ever seen. A lot of the Lego Star Wars community hates it, myself included. Shadow Wine TV says, "What will Luke visit after Episode Five? A secondhand shop." Yikes, dude. Jeez, man. Uh, Avery Walker has a challenge idea for us again. He says, who can buy the least Lego in a month starring Architect, Just Too Good, Ash of Lash, and MNR Productions? That sounds like a fun one. So that could that could definitely be fun if we, we pony up some prizes or, or place some bets there. That could definitely make it interesting. We could all have a, a video series for that. So maybe I'll run some ideas by them. We'll, we'll come up with some cool ideas for like a, a four-in-one challenge. Alex Flood says, will you go to Brickworld 2019? I'm going to Brickworld Chicago 2019, if that's the one you're talking about. So I'll be there in June. I'll be there every day. You guys will be able to find me probably at the Rebel Lug or Empire Lug booth, or I don't know if they're doing both in one, but that's the that's my friends, so I hang out with them, so I'll be around there. I'm also contemplating Brick Fair Virginia. It's not locked in like Brick Fair North Carolina and Brick World Chicago, but it's very likely. Ethan Kolar says, do you think there will be a Lego Movie 3? Um, so yes and no. They kind of closed off the current storyline. Like the Emmett and Lucy thing, they've kind of ended it, right? But in another way... They've allowed it to open up. And I think Brickitect made this point to me. We're like, you can you can now go anywhere with this story. They kind of gave it a closing point without a cliffhanger, but you can build off of that and just kind of do anything. I hope there's a Lego Movie 3, and I think that's the best answer I can give you. I don't know. I don't think one way or the other. It's like a 50-50 coin flip. There could be, there could not. I think it's like a 25% chance that uh, they continue with the current characters with the story. Like, I just don't see them can building off the current storyline in any way. I don't know. It's a weird way they ended the last movie with closing it off if they're going to do a LEGO Movie 3. Padawan of Christ says, Should LEGO make dual sets, kind of like battle pack size, but it would recreate iconic duels from movies and TV shows? Absolutely. So they're doing this with Duel on Starkiller Base, obviously. I think that might be where you got the idea from. And I would love to see them do more like it. Hopefully in the very near future, maybe 2020, that Anakin vs. Obi-Wan set will be like, like that. That would be so sweet. Alex Hancock says, have your parents ever been in a video? If not, why? No, like for the most part, they're not in videos. Very occasionally, maybe my mom like opens the door while I'm live streaming and you might be able to see her. Or like, I know my dad might be in my Kashyyyk video or in pictures of my Kashyyyk mock from way back in the day. I'm not sure if those are posted online or not, but like I very seldomly do like, are my parents in the videos. I just don't feel like they belong in a video. Like that's why they're not in the video. Do other Lego people put their parents in the video? Not really. So yeah, it just doesn't really fit in. JP Brick says, what do you think of the new teal brick separator? How many brick separators do you have? I have no idea how many brick separators I have. I have a lot, I'm sure. They're just kind of scattered around. I have some in that bin. I have some in my desk. I have some out in the garage. Probably have some in the closet somewhere. Like they're just all over the place. I don't know how many I have. Probably near 100 or something. I have no idea. The teal brick separator is a nice change of pace, but I kind of think it's going to be lame if they just keep making different brick separator colors for people to collect. I don't know. We'll see what they do. Tony Raccoon says, do you think LEGO should make a Scarif Trooper battle pack? Again, that's one of those things that I think when they revisit older or newer Star Wars movies, rather, that's something they should make. Like in five years, a Scarif Trooper battle pack might fit in perfectly. So yes, I think they should make it. Not anytime super soon. WV Studios says, do you think LEGO will explore the possibility of making SpaceX rockets, especially the one with the Tesla car? Yeah, I think they should. I think they should definitely look at it. I think the Saturn V has been a booming success. I think SpaceX is obviously something that's very well known. Lego should at least bat an eye in the direction of SpaceX and be like, hey, what's up? 
you know just send them a text message see if they, they're interested you know maybe spacex will make their own toy uh, plastic brick brand maybe that'll be what happens instead but yeah it would be pretty nice if lego did make some spacex stuff or some some uh, elon musk maybe maybe just an elon musk line with all the crazy stuff elon musk decides to make that would be fun lone lump says hey ryan have you ever had problems with silverfish or other bugs living in your boxes yes silverfish oh my god the bane of my existence well not really that's dust but the silverfish are annoying i just kill them when i see them um they're not a huge issue for me like i just you know i see them whenever i'm I'm cleaning up maybe once once every few months, but other than that, they're not super apparent to me. But yes, they are annoying. If you guys know what silverfish are, you will you will agree with that statement. CP two one one two says if you had fifty dollars to spend on spring twenty eighteen Star Wars sets, which ones would you buy and why? So with only fifty bucks, you're probably gonna want to get the Imperial Dropship Battle Pack and then one of the thirty dollars sets, maybe the Clone Scout Walker or Anakin's Pod Racer, whichever one you like more. Maybe Ray versus Kylo Ren floats your boat, but. You're really limited on choices there. Maybe you just buy the snow speeder, which is 40 bucks plus tax. Like it's, they're not a lot of choices, but I don't know what I would really recommend. I think they're all pretty good sets. It's just, again, it's, it's one of those things that's personal preference. You can watch when I upload reviews, you can watch those and decide for yourself, but it's really hard to just tell someone what to buy because it's literally just, which one do you like better? Like you, you have to look at them and decide for yourself. I can't decide that for you, but that's what I make my reviews for. You can watch them and make your own informed decision is kind of the point over the hill soccer dad oh my god that's a great name i didn't read that name when i was <laughs> making this question uh you've shown pictures of them a bunch of times so i will have to ask will you build one of Mirko sopelsa's god i hope i didn't butcher that ucs sets so i would love to i love his ucs models i really think i fell in love with the resistance bomber model um when i do bricktober not bricktober mocktober later this year I'm definitely going to consider building one of his models. It's either going to be one of his models or a UCS Venator from October this year, and I haven't decided which, but at some point, I'm sure I will. I definitely want to. It's really just a matter of me finding the time to do it and uh, just getting it done. I also don't really have space to display one right now, so maybe that's something to do like five years down the line, but it's definitely something on the to-do list for the future. Daft Hub says, hey, I need help to decide. I am starting a LEGO Star Wars Battlefront 2 minifig and mock tutorial and review. Should I make the figs? or the mocks first i mean you can go either way if you make minifigures then you can just make videos showing off the minifigures you make but if you make the mock first then you have to make the figures too to show it off i would say so make the figures first and then make the mock that's what i'll say Mirko fires says what is your go-to meal at chick-fil-a 12 count chicken nugget large fry no sauce baby that's where i'm going right after i film this video eld studio says have you also experienced that lego store employees are always so nice one time an employee told me my shoe was untied but i was wearing flip-flops oh Oh my god you just got trolled dude i would just leave this i would be like i'm going to buy mega blocks that's what i would tell them nah um yeah lego employees are notoriously nice if you guys remember i did a video like back in july or early late july i think where i i left i basically forgot a pick a brick cup that i bought at a lego store in georgia and i was like well i'm not going to be able to make it back because it's like two hours away can you just ship it to my house so they shipped it to my house and they also included a chrome tc14 and that just absolutely made my day so yes lego store employees are awesome Mac Bricks, do you keep all of your video files or do you get rid of them after you upload on YouTube? I, I absolutely get rid of them. There's no way I can keep all the terabytes of, of video footage that I would otherwise have. So yes, I get rid of all my video files after it's on YouTube. Anyway, I'm sure you guys are dying to get into the m and meme segment because I did totally forget to do it last week, but I won't this week, I promise. So let's head on over to the m and Productions subreddit and get into some memes. All right, it's meme time. Finally, me, Lego YouTubers have standards, Ryan. Yeah, I uh, I forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, that's me filming bricks of it. Okay, I just realized what that was. Okay, I got the towel. All right, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. You get an upvote. All right, I may have misunderstood the rules of your no Lego shopping challenge, but I feel like you have failed multiple times. I literally bought the Mustang on March 1st, and I said after I buy that it begins. And I said that I was gonna buy the new Star Wars sets, whether I can get them on April 1st or before. So, yeah, I might have bought something else and failed anyway, so you'll find out about that. But you don't get enough vote because you're, you're giving me trouble, man. A for effort. I <laughs> yeah, if you, if you watch my vlogs, you might get that one. You also might get this one if you watch my vlogs. <laughs> we'll just keep scrolling here. Well, did you buy it? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Cries internally. 
putting memes in Ask MNR, putting memes in Ask MNR, putting memes in Ask MNR. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot, man. Last week, I just, I literally just forgot. I don't know, dude. Modern problems require modern solutions. Yeah, no, that would be cheating. I did, like, I didn't make this challenge so that I could, like, have other people buy Lego for me and then buy, like, pay them for it later. That wasn't the point of it. Like, that completely defeats the purpose. So no, I didn't do this, or nor did I think I would do it. That being said, there will be a follow-up video to the challenge thing, so just stay tuned for that. What did it cost? Oh, this is pretty good. You just gotta, you just gotta work on your cropping a little bit better. You just, oh, you made Clark Captain America. That's great. Oh my God. Oh, this is. Oh wow, that's quite a. <laughs> just Dugan's face looks just ridiculous on there. Can we get a higher quality version of this? Can someone like redo this with like a better like overlay or whatever like just like this is a good concept but it needs to be worked on at least for the quality someone needs to redo that post that'd be great ryan when republic attacks lego collection got stolen i'm about to start this man's whole career nah reddit did that his video went huge on uh r slash videos and that's that's kind of why his uh channel blew up i don't i don't think i blew his channel up but i definitely helped him helped him recoup the the cost of the stolen lego ryan trying to resist the urge to buy lego for a month i'm just trying off the little incredibles meme there he had to do it to him <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great dude oh lego star wars meme sets three yes that's coming soon guys it's coming soon um uh, probably early may i'm gonna i'm gonna bring that back blowing your cash on a new set or buying a good set on clearance for half your money that is a tough one because the point the thing is like with clearance like you just don't know how long it's gonna last you don't know which sets are gonna make it to really good clearance in the future like it is a tough one it's i can see why that's a tough decision for you man this one made me laugh so hard when i read it last week when you comment on a lego's instagram post asking for a file first battle pack it ain't much but it's honest work i just love that one of my favorite memes will ryan make it oh i did i did no i didn't need it i didn't buy this one i didn't buy this one at walmart i, I passed on it thankfully this took way longer than it should have to make mnr outro time no music quiet music getting louder and loud music out my ears all my ears are bleeding yeah more or less this one's pretty good too you can read it for yourself but that's gonna do it for this week's episode of ask mnr production if you guys have a question you want answered on next week's episode leave in the comments section down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe if you have a joke for me leave in the comments section below if you have a meme make sure you leave it on reddit.com slash r slash mnr productions and with that being said i will see you guys in next week's episode peace out 